My name is Hari Hong and in this video I'm going to talk about the Celsius Reformation Gearbox 2. Okay, so now we have three gearboxes on the table and this is the Celsius Reformation Gearbox 2. The unfinished one before anodizing, you can see CNC processing things here. All right. Okay, some of you might like it like this, but as a manufacturer, we we prefer to anodize it because aluminum will also change color. So this is the final product. All right. All right. Let's open it and compare it to this one. This is the original design. This is the Celsius Reformation Gearbox 2. And you can see clearly the difference is with this thing. This is called the bearing plate, but we cannot call it bearing plate because there's no bearing here no more. And there will be a bearing here, so it's okay. And there will be a bearing here, so it's even better. And the thing is, this is good design, this, this is okay originally uh, it's it's smooth but after thousand of rounds I don't know 20,000 or 30,000 it will eventually come off okay when it come off it will block the movement of the sun gear because there will be no room for the sun gear to move okay sun gear stay here and there's another gearbox here so if it's come off this can't move it will stop you know and the gearbox will be so so tight and if you're lucky, you're just going to burn the fuse. If you're unlucky, you might burn your MOSFET or even the mother. Um, and if it's come off, this uh, sector gear will moving left and right like that. And it will not pull the piston properly if it's moving like that. All right. And it will also cause problems, a lot of problems there, you know. Well, um... Okay, let, let, let's let's start, start to assemble this one. And if you like, you can start to time how fast I am assemble and how easy. It's not like I'm trying to show off my skill. It's just I'm trying to show you how easy to assemble this thing. Okay. Okay, so. As you can see, the shims here are different because the hole are bigger. The hole in the middle is bigger. Okay, just put all of the shafts first. Four shafts, four planetary gears. Okay, okay, smooth. And the sector gear. Okay. Okay, so you have to ensure that this part is facing up, all right? It's important. I won't explain it here now because uh, we're discussing this reformation gearbox. And put another shim here, or it depends on the gear. If, if you don't need it, then you can just remove it. Okay, and then just put this thing like that. It's very easy. Okay, and then install this first. Okay. And okay, continue with the trigger later. This is the gear for the ambidextrous trigger. Uh, we will talk about it shortly. So, put this uh, push in here, put this here, this here, and because of this is Celsius gears, we know uh, how many shims we have, we have to put in. Alright, this done, and now put the trigger spring. Install the trigger. 
You see? It's so easy. And then just like that. Smooth. Just alright. Alright, and then forget to put in this and the bearing. Alright, and then install screws. Tighten it. Okay, done. See, you can use even just a little finger to do that. You see, it's very smooth and it's very light. Just make sure that this stays inside if it's come out like that. Of course it will block the bevel gear. But it won't come out if, if it stays inside the receiver because you know it's it's it's, it's going to stay inside. Now uh, this is the selector that we also designed for the real steel. Um, There are two types of selector that we have. One uh, is just complete black, and this is the two tones version, which is um, for competition. We call it high speed selector or competition grade selector. Uh, I, I will explain that shortly. Okay, put this click ball, click ball spring. And the click ball spring screw. All right. You see, for the competition grade, this is not completely straight like that. But there's this a little. The angle is like I don't know if you can see it here in the video. It's like 18 degree angles. This is important for high speed selection because your thumb doesn't have to go way up you just have to you know it's, it's 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 much quicker if it's stays like that even the the full auto if you want to switch it back to safe it's also easy because of the angle all right and the ratio the gear ratio is also the same so we guarantee that it won't break we give five years warranty for the case, the shaft, and the selectors. All right. So now you can see how easy to assemble these gears. And um, I think that's it. And uh, of course, this we have this on the previous. Uh, uh, gearbox, the CNC process gearbox. If you put screw there, you you can adjust the gear, uh, the trigger here, closer to the ECU, and you you will have a faster trigger reaction. All right, I guess that's it. Um, and by time we will we will uh, will give you more information about it. And, but the, the main uh, point that we want to address is actually uh, being, being talked about now. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you like the design. And this gearbox will, will, will be available through our dealers, both in Hong Kong, US and Europe and Russia. Alright. Thank you guys, bye bye.